Good afternoon, YouTube YouTubers. This is me, Drew Franklin here, or known as Drew Franklin Franchise 1996 here. And I want to wish y'all a happy Thanksgiving. And before I get started this tribute video, I want to give a, a shout out to Anthony Chabot, Aubrey Scott Productions, Rodney1279 Gaming, Matthew V21688, Matthew V21688 Gaming. Brandon's Movie Corner, Brendan's Movie Corner, Patrick Araujo, Patrick Araujo's Movie Corner, The Flicker 98, The VHS Brony, Tyler Tristar to his back, Ryan Goodwin's Movie Corner, Craig S. 1996 Television, Craig S. 1996 Entertainment, and Drew Toon, NG2C Network, Steve Klobrowski, and Justin Hyman, or known as, and New Time Travel Hyman 88. If you guys watching this video, I'll give you guys a thumbs up. And also a shout out to LeaseFan18, or known as Mark Leota. And... Martin Stone, Martin S5, 1989. Okay, I just want to... Okay, as many of you guys know, but at this... As most of you know, I heard this video about... As many of you guys know, uh, we lost another celebrity last month. And you're looking at... And that is... This is this. Robbie Coltrane. Best know who play as... Valentin Zubkowski in two James Bond movies... Goldeneye and The World Is Not Enough and Rubius Hagrid in the Harry Potter film franchise series passed away last month at 72 from organ failure. I used to take a, a few of his movies in honor of him in his memory. I did watch all the Harry Potter film franchise series. So in remembrance of Robbie Coltrane as Rubius Hagrid in Harry Potter... Now, as you know, we got to mention this. Now, James Bond celebrates six, celebrates sixtieth anniversary. I'll watch those two after the day after Christmas. The in remembrance of Robbie Coltrane, as well. So, let's take a look. Here's the. My 1999 MGM UA Home Video v DVD release of GoldenEye. This is part of the James Bond 007 collection. is on Special Edition DVD. This Now, this DVD and VHS released on October 18th, 1999. And is to promote another James Bond released in theaters on Thanksgiving 1999. And that is the release date... On Friday, November 19th, 1999, The World Is Not Enough. I'll show that. I do have it. I'll show that in a minute. I also do got the game. Also got, I do, yeah, this movie is released. This movie, GoldenEye. GoldenEye released in theaters Thanksgiving 1995 of Friday, November 17th, 1995. And I do have this game on, on the Nintendo 64. On the N64. On the N64. Here's the front. The spine. And the back. This is in Letterbots. Now, how about I get this film on VHS in the near future? In Panascan. There's another VHS of this film in Letterbots. Pierce Brosnan ignites the screen in his first adventure as the unstoppable, unstoppable James Bond when a powerful satellite system falls into the hands of a former Ali Turn enemy only. 007 can save the world from an awesome space weapon that in one short pulse could destroy the Earth. And it's got a special edition, special edition features. It's got the making of Golden Knight feature ad. The World James Bond documentary. Music video by Tina Turner. 
trailers and television spots, collectible marking, collectible making a booklet, and many and many others. This is copyright by 1999, 1999 MGM UA Home Video. Yep, copyright by 1999 MGM UA Home Video. There's a disc to it. Let me show you the stuff here. Now I'm gonna split this in two parts. Here it is. It's got the scene, scene selections. It's got 49 chapters of this film. Um, here's all the cast and crew of the film Goldeneye. Yeah, rest in peace to re no, rest in paradise to Robbie Coltrane. Before he plays Rubius Hagrid six years later in the Harry Potter film franchise. Funkin Jansen before she plays Jean Grey slash Phoenix in X-Men five years later. How cool is this? Oops. This is in Letterbots. I hope I get this on VHS in the future in the Panis scan. Here's a disc to it. I know this has some scratches, but it still plays though. Hope I get this from on VHS, like I said, along with the demo VHS. There you have it for Goldeneye. I do, like I said, I do got it on on the N64. Next is The World Is Not Enough. This film came out in theaters on Friday, November 19th, 1995. This film came out in theaters on Friday, November 19th, 1999. And this film came out five days after Stone Cold WWF superstar Stone Cold Steve Austin had got a hit and run and run over by Rikishi at WWF. Survivor Series 1999. And a week later, Triple H put the restraining order against on Vince McMahon on Thanksgiving Day 1999. During from an episode of WWF SmackDown on UPN. Here's the front. The spine. And the back. Oh, this DVD and VHS came out May 16th, 2000. How do I get it on VHS along with the demo VHS as well, too, in the future? When the Suave Double Agent 007 is assigned to protect a beautiful heiress, uh, Selfie Marceau, or I'd like to call it Selfie Marceau, he, he is catapult into a passionate adrenaline charge adventure that pits him against one of his most deadly adversaries, Renard Robert Carlyle, a ruthless and arches who total Imprevient, imper or uh, something like that. To pain makes him virtuality unstoppable enemy. The unrelenting suspense, breathtaking action, and sly wit never let never let up in this explosively thrilling ent entertainment thriller. It's got auto commentary. It's got auto commentary. 
second auto commentary. The Making of the World is Not Enough documentary. Secrets of 007 alternate video options. Music video by Garbage and others. And it says copyright by 2000 MGM UA Home Video. This is also in Letterbots. Here it is. This is the final film with Desmond Llewellyn as Q before he passed away from a car accident on Sunday, December 19th, 1999, after this movie came out. Also in Letterbots. Yeah, I guess that would get in VHS in the panic scan real soon. All right, there you have it. Next, we're going to Harry Potter franchise films. Here's this one. This is the 2002 Warner Home Video actual initial official retail VHS copy release of Year One, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Never before seen footage. I did the I did the opening to it. You want to see it? Check it out on my YouTube channel. Is check that down below. Here's the front, the spine. Both spines, both spines contain the a character profile with Harry Potter. The top and the back. And I do have that game on Sony PS One. As well as Lego Harry Potter years 1 through 4 on the PlayStation 3 as well. Richard Roper, Ebert and Roper calls it the Wizard of Oz of its time, a complete triumph. In this enchanting film of adaption of J.K. Rowling's delightful bestseller, Harry Potter learns on his 11th birthday that he is and that he is the orphan son of two powerful wizards and possesses magical powers of his own at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Harry embarks on the adventure of a lifetime. He learns the high-flying sport of Quidditch and plays a thrilling game with living chess pieces on his way to face a dark wizard bent on destroying him for the most extraordinary adventure. See you on Platform 934. This DVD and VHS came out May 28th, 2002. I do have it on DVD. I'll show that in a minute. Okay, this says copyright 2001 Warner Brothers. Copyright 2002 Warner Home Video. And this film came out during ER and Friends Season 8 on NBC. As well as Gilmore Girls Season 2 on the WB and Smallville Season 1 on the WB as well. Here it is. Here's the ink label. The print date is March 1st, 2002. Yep, I'm going to give this to Justin Hyman. And Aubrey, if you're watching this video... Um, Chris Columbus directed the first two Harry Potter movies as well. And Justin Hyman, if you're watching this video also, I'm going to give this VHS to you as well. Okay, I'm going to stop here. I'll see you guys in part two next. Okay, I don't go over 15 minutes, so part two is coming in a minute.